Here are five signs to how you know that you are unequally yoked. Let's start with 2 Corinthians chapter 6 in verse 12. It says, Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness, or what communion has light with darkness? So it tells us to not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, but it also is a little bit deeper than that. It's also being unequally yoked when you are far well off in your journey and your faith walk with God and the other person isn't. You are well in the kingdom and the other person is still in the world. That's what it also means to be unequally yoked. Let's start with sign number one. Goals do not align. It's one thing to have differences, but when you have a different vision to that person, then the two of you will not be able to walk together because you are not in agreement. And that means in your thought life, you have you may have different goals and um, to the relationship in itself or you know how you plan to you know raise your children later down the track and that person may be different you may want commitment the other person won't so your goals do not align sign number two there's always conflict in the relationship now yes relationships you know um go up and down and you're able to have arguments and disagreements and all of that that's great but when there is more bad times than good then that becomes an unequally yoked relationship when there is so much more confusion and chaos rather than peace then you know that is an unequally yoked relationship because that relationship um, has just become overbearing and toxic in its nature sign number three unwillingness to compromise when it's my way or the highway relationships are hard work and it requires both parties to meet halfway and make it work and sometimes it, it would just mean compromising you know um getting into an agreement of some sort of you know what the best way forward for the both of you and for the relationship but when the one or the other isn't willing to compromise and it is you who's always compromising and giving and depleting yourself then it just means that you are giving far more than what you are receiving in return and number four you are spirit led and spirit filled the other person is ego led and ego filled um, when you are walking with God and if you are in the kingdom and your partner is still, you know, has his or her feet in the world, then that's two opposing kingdoms. And, um, you know, when, you know, you're, you're spirit led and spirit filled and walking in a godly manner, the other person isn't. And so now there's a conflict in not only how you, you know, go on about your life, but it also there's a conflict in how, you know, you come together as a couple, you're spirit filled, um, and, his ego or she's ego driven and so fle flesh and spirit do not come together sign number five and the obvious is having different religion now the bible tells us not to marry into a different religion but if you are married then that's a different case um and so yeah these are the signs